Well, hello everyone! Hi guys! Hi! Oh, hang on, darling, they can't hear you yet. There we go. Now they should be able oh, to hear you. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> Second one. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Sign right of things two. to come. Hi guys! Oh! How are you guys tonight? It's so good to see all of you. Yep, Lisa, yep. thank you for the cheers. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are ready for a nice weekend. Mm -hmm. What have you guys is, been up to? Uh, trying to teach me the weekend vibes, by the way. He has hopes that I'll learn what the word relax means eventually. Yeah, when you work from home, like weekends don't really mean anything. So like, I'm trying to be like, no, it's Saturday. You have to sit on this couch while I'm playing Mario Maker. You have to just sit there and read. That's what you I have know. to do. He had the audacity to tell me this afternoon that I should sit and read my fantasy book. And I'm like, there are things to do. I have to-do lists, sir. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> you gotta relax. You gotta relax. It's important. Hope it, you guys have been relaxed. Yes, it is very is important it? to relax. It's good. Helps everything you do in the rest of your week. Lavissa, don't give him any ideas. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let me let me peep. Let me see what's going on. <laughs> uh oh, wait. I missed it. I missed it. I'm scrolling up. I'm scrolling up. <laughs> oh, oh, and a villain. I'm reading the second of the Witcher series right now. Um, Chips and I started playing. Was it Witcher three, darling? Yeah, we started playing The Witcher 3. Yeah, That's the one we played. Oh, hey, Neely Loves Life. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the adventures. Very excited to have you along. Uh, but I, we started playing Witcher 3, and we didn't get very far in it because my laptop tried to melt running it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it was not pleased about that. It was not a happy laptop. But the world intrigued me because I am a huge fantasy book reader. The other day, Chips was trying to convince me about this concept of relaxing again. So he pulled up a list of like the, the, the top 20 suggested fantasy books for people to read. And he started listing them off. And like, how many of them did I not already own or have read, darling? Like, oh, three? yeah. It was like, what about this one? And you're like, oh, yeah, it's, it's good until like the third book. And I was like, all right. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so I, I, don't I know love if you know that fantasy. about this is this is some behind the scenes Siri info that you guys get to know about. But she is a voracious reader. She reads so much. It's important. Reading is uh especially like reading fantasy for me is like well, adding fertilizer to the garden of the mind, maybe. Except in a less gross no, way. No, you just like to do it. You just like to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I do just love to read. Oh, oh, cool, Alyssa, you just got the cutting board recipe? You lucky duck. People are really into that. Yeah, and Turtle Lover, reading is good. Reading is good. And Neely, I hope you enjoy Animal Crossing, because it is so much fun. Chips and I have been having a great time. Also, this do you guys- This just walking in front of us. Hey, yeah, do you like him? That's Sheldon. Oh, yeah, I remember when you saw him. Oh, Sheldon, gosh, Sheldon was... survived Tarantula Island with me. It was terrifying. It was terrifying. Do you guys like Chips' outfit tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got the, uh, let's see. So I got the, the turban. I got the excellent turban. I got my monocle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I got a handlebar mustache. The uh, the prince's uh, prince's outfit. Some coulettes for, for the bottoms. Uh, and some no-show -so socks. And some very stylish slip-on loafers. It's just, it creates a perfect outfit altogether, darling. It really does. Oh, that's a cute way. Uh, back look. Oh my gosh. Lavisa, thank you so much. Toby and McKenna, second by uh, Mangaroo and Across the Ecliptic. Welcome to the nest. May all your eggs safely land. Yep. Speaking yep. of yep. eggs. Oh boy. You guys, you guys. Okay, since, okay, every time we have some new additions to the nest, I will show you guys some special pictures. That's a good way to do it, I think. Ahem. So. To celebrate a whole bunch of little ones in the nest, I would like to share, who should we do first, Snake Neck or Mama Robin? Hmm. Start with uh, Mama Robin, I think. Okay, we'll start with Mama Robin because Snake Neck is high tier. Chips and I have somebody living outside our front door right now that we have completely fallen for. She's amazing. She's everything. She is Mama Robin. And I absolutely have to show you guys who, who she is because she's just perfect. 
She's got great energy. She has great energy. And she showed up pretty quick too, didn't she, Mama Robin? Yeah, it took her about a week from start to finish, I think. Oh, hi, Twinning Vines, welcome. Yeah, we noticed that there were like a couple pieces of hay thrown over the drain pipe right outside our like apartment door. And we're like, hmm, what's going on here? Maybe some bird is trying to build a nest, but it didn't look like it was doing anything. And then we walked out a couple days later. Ah, that's a bird butt, all right. Hang on, chat. Sorry about that. It, it was taken with my wildlife camera, so the picture's huge. But we walked out like two, was it two days ago? It was yesterday. That we saw her the first time? The first time. It was on the 16th that we saw her for the first time. You have such a good memory, darling. Well, I remember writing it in our joy journal. That's true. We have a marriage joy journal that we write in together now. Isn't it's that really just fun. the sappiest little thing? We write notes to each other in our shared joy journal. <laughs> we do. Uh, since we got married uh, six days ago, it'll be a week tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so Chips uh, gifted me as a um, birthday and a wedding gift, a beautiful journal, and we write notes to each other every day in it. And we're gonna try to do that for all of the like, what? We're gonna live to 100 at least, 90 years. You're, you're croaking at 100? <laughs> well, okay, that's, we'll just that's keep going. That's pretty selfish of you that early, jeez. <laughs> But we write notes to to each other in it, and I'm, I'm hoping we can have as many marriage joy journals as I have actual joy journals. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys like it. I think it's a great thing to do together. Uh, also, this is Mama Robin. So she really put this nest together in like two days. It's so impressive. I very much like her. But she's got she's really sassy. She's sassy. She has sassy energy. And she's really cool because um, she's just literally right outside our front door and she's pretty chill. This is as, as like nervous as she got around us. We, of course, gave her lots of space, but I'm really excited to see what will happen when Mama Robin uh, like has more eggs and if we might see some chicks. They're so perfectly close that I'll be able to get some great video of Mama Robin with any baby chicks she might have. So fingers crossed, guys, this is just the first of a beautiful spring saga that we will all have together with Mama Robin. Oh, I, I know chat's hype for some Robin babies. Oh, I, I really hope so. Also, here's another angle of her. I love the artful use of grass that she added in. Mm -hmm. She's absolutely excellent. Let's see, do I have any more? And I spent forever trying to artfully frame her with these leaves. <laughs> So that is Mama Robin. Uh, remind me to keep you guys updated on her whereabouts and what she's up to. Uh, and that's a great way to celebrate arrivals to the nest, right? With an yeah. actual nest. So I was reading. So I was reading with Robins. Oh, hey, Twinning Vines! Thank you so much for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> um, so I was reading with Robins. Apparently, they don't leave the nest for more than like five to ten minutes at a time. So when we went out today and saw her not on there, that would suggest that she hasn't laid yet, maybe, mm -hmm. I don't know. But once she lays, it just takes like less than two weeks. And so... then we'll have baby robins? Yes. Okay. Those... We'll, we'll keep an eye out. Um, we'll keep an eye out for her. Also twinning, sorry about your egg. Don't worry, it'll, I'm sure it'll come back. Uh, oh. Let's actually go ahead. Should I show snake neck now? Yeah, she'll snake neck. Yeah, in. okay, so since It's twinning... mama bird time. Yeah, it's mama bird time since twinning just arrived into the nest too. I'm gonna have to show you guys Snake Neck. We've had a, how many, how long has our bond with Snake Neck been now, darling? She's been there for like three weeks. She's been there for about three weeks. Lo and behold, one early, early morning, about three weeks ago, I was out on a uh, safe, socially distanced walk just around our neighborhood. And I looked up and there was a beautiful goose in the middle of a parking lot. <laughs> In the middle of a parking lot on an island, there is a goose <laughs> near our house. Um, and as you can see, it's a little tricky to find her at first. But here we go. Oh, who's that? I am. I am 3CPO. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the adventures. But she's in such a fun location. Uh, and you, I didn't, like, unless I had just walked up to her, I wouldn't have noticed her. Hey, Miku! Oh, thank you! Hippo, Crocodonkey Donkey Pig! Hey! Good to see you again with your unforgettable name again. 
<laughs> Thank you for gifting a sub to Miku. And now we will show you with more additions to the nest, uh, a close up of Snake Neck, as we call her. And you may wonder why she has the name Snake Neck. And this is why. Because she does Snake Neck. Yep. If you, if you, we might not have seen her, but she definitely saw us. And she'll like stare at you like a periscope. She will. She's so cute. Is that for our water, darling? Yeah, I'll get it. Here, be one second. Uh -huh. But we call her Snake Neck because she sticks out her really long goose neck and she hunches down, protecting the nest and kind of hiding on it. I'm amazed at how camouflaged she is. Really, I practically walked on top of her the first time I saw her when I was cutting through the parking lot or I wouldn't have seen her, but she saw us and she snake necks it and she watches you. She'll stick her long neck out and she'll just hover it down above the ground and stare at you perfectly as you walk by. She won't make a sound. She won't lift her head up any higher. She doesn't flap her wings. She is busy protecting those eggs and hiding them. And for a while, I wasn't even sure if she had eggs. I don't have the picture with me right now, but one day she stood up and I actually saw the eggs. But Snake Neck has really good energy because she just snake necks it all the time. <laughs> yeah, she's really stunning. Hey, Mandy, it's good to see you. So that's why she has the name Snake Neck, because she's always snake necking it. But we'll keep an eye on both of these mama birds for all of you, since we are, you know, really into animals here. And I'll let you guys know if Snake Neck has any babies that I can see and walks around with some goslings at some point in the near future. And we you will are, keep an eye on Mama Robin. You are not going to believe what Sheldon did while you were gone. What Sheldon? Darling! Sheldon, Sheldon just fenced you in. I was like, no, stop, Sheldon, don't do it. I tried to stop him. I couldn't stop his rampage. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> but it was for naught. What has gone? What have you done? Me? Ha! I am now free. Oh, hey! No talks today. Welcome. Welcome to the adventures. Uh, chat thinks that it is not Sheldon. Chat is very suspicious about this, darling. They, well, they're of the opinion that it's, uh, it's a certain chips. Yeah, they're in on it. They're in on it's it? Not fair. Yeah, it's not fair. <laughs> I'm free! I've broken loose! Do you want to go clothing shopping really quickly before the Able Sisters close? Sure, do you want me to leave these on no. the ground? Okay. <laughs> I'll, clean up, I'll, I'll clean up what Sheldon did and then I'll meet you in there. Oh, uh, it'll go quick with both of us. Actually, I'm going to pop in and see if Ursula has a DIY. She's very reliable on getting lots of DIYs. Animal fan, th this shovel is unrelated to all the stuff that just happened. This is totally unrelated shovel. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do. No, look. Oh, hang on. Everybody's like, oh, you're holding the shovel. Like, hmm. you got to hold something. Were you just going to help me after Sheldon? Hey, Miku. After Sheldon trapped me, were you just trying to help me, darling? Is that you it? Know, yeah, you know how you have to, like, um... You know, sometimes you got to fidget, like with a fidget spinner. Same thing. Shovel. Just hold the shovel. <laughs> Sheldon, here, I'll give Sheldon maybe a coffee cup. Sheldon, did you lock me in there? How's He's not going to admit to it. I don't know. Let's talk to him. This weather really gets his muscles glistening, darling. Hmm. Why is everybody in this game sporty type? I feel like that's the most common. Well, who is more likely to move to a deserted island? A sporty type, a preppy type, a cute type, like... True, true, true. I think the sporty type would be more likely to move to a deserted island and make the most of it. Here, I'm going to give him some coffee because I'm sure... No, wait, I wanted to give him the label cap that I got yesterday. Sheldon, wear this little cap, please. Yeah, put it on. I want to see how cute you are. Darling, come look at Sheldon. He's so cute. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, he gave me an essay. <laughs> an essay? He gave me an essay set. I'm going to go in my house to see what an essay set looks like. That sounds like something I need to give you, darling. You're the professor. <laughs> oh, hey, Swan Feather. So good to see you. And Neely. Oh, hey, Yuichi. Welcome to the adventures. Gosh. <laughs> Shining Evie, thank you. She, Shining Evie says we're acting like a classic married couple. So even though we're only six days into being married, I think we're doing it, doing it right. We got the act down, yeah. Mm. We can fool everybody. Nice, nice. You wouldn't know we're just newlyweds. All right, I'm going to see what this essay set looks like. <gasps> it's really fancy. Apparently Sheldon secretly writes like really fancy letters. 
in his house. Wait, wait, they still let you have like um, letter sets in this game? Um, what do, what do you mean like letter sets? Well, because like I know in the old ones you could buy like special paper, but I thought all the paper in this one sold at the. Um... Yeah, no, this letter set is like um, really fancy oh, it's like letters a... with like an ink pen. Gotcha. It is very cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and wools, I think, you know, there's progress with the Mama Robin and the Mama Goose here in real life. Um, and I think that there might be progress with the hamsters in here. I'm pretty suspicious. We'll have to see. All right, so let me run over to the Abel sisters with you. Oh, and by the way, guys, one of the reasons we're streaming tonight is because KK's here. Oh yeah, big, big concert time. Yeah, it's gonna be a concert. We'll settle in for a concert with KK in a bit, but the Able Sisters will close, so. <gasps> what are they selling here? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Do you see that kimono, darling? Oh yeah, that's the uh, Juni Hikoi. Kyu, good morning, Kyu. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Oh, and sweeter, I, uh, I love hamsters too. Did you used to have a hamster, darling? Yes. Um, well, I can't remember if it was a hamster or a gerbil. Um, I think I was too young to know the difference. Um, I had gerbils. My sister, uh, Bebop, had a hamster. Its name was Chubbs. It's a good name. It was a good name. He lived up to it. We used to make little trails. Uh, in her bedroom made out of mm -hmm. sunflower seeds and make like oh, a little adorable. line of sunflower seeds and just watch him go from one sunflower seed to the next, stuffing them in his little cheeks. All right, this is kind of cute. We're like clothing shopping together, like a married yeah. couple. <laughs> I like those YouTube channels where they like make elaborate mazes for their guinea pigs to get through. Right, I would love to do, guinea pigs? Or gerbils or rodents of some of some report. I love guinea pigs. Also, Toby Pringles, mice named Cheese and Crackers are the most adorable two names. Like, Toby Pringles has two mice named Cheese and Crackers, darling. That's pretty cute. That's pretty darn cute. We named we we named the uh, mouse that was outside my mom's house Julius Cheezer. We I did. That one. <laughs> There's a little field mouse that we found on a wildlife like. Uh, what do you call those things? Uh, trail cam? Yeah, we have a trail cam, yeah. We got a trail cam gifted to us for Christmas because we kind of love, you know, animals and wildlife. And we put it in Chips' mom's backyard and there was a mouse, a field mouse, and it was so cute. And we named it Julius Cheezer. Hey, Mabel thinks I'm looking sharp. Hey, I'm looking good. <laughs> Animal fan loves it, darling. I think, you know what? I need to just start taking pictures of you and we'll just continually have like Chips' high fashion show. You gotta be bold. Everybody I meet online, they have like standard stuff that's look like they look like real life. You gotta go, you gotta go crazy. You gotta put a ram helmet on. <laughs> hey, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, look, there's a cute little hand knit tank and it actually makes it look like the ram, like I'm wearing a little ram um, body piece, like little wool. That's really cute. I'll show you in a second. I actually have a tailor's ticket so I can spend up to 3000 bells in here for free. Where's Do you that? need bells? I have bells. Look at this pretty thing. Oh, I love this kimono. It's so expensive that I can't use the tailor's ticket on it. The ram helmet is adorable. I agree, Swan Feather. <laughs> oh, thank you, Wolves. Wolves, you would, I think you would enjoy the ram helmet. It was a gift from Backlog. Thank you, Backlog. I saw you lurking a little bit earlier. All right, let's see what we can spend the tailor's ticket that we have. They are special items that you get for passing labels fashion sense event. And we did that yesterday in the episode that we had on the YouTube channel yesterday. So now we have basically a coupon for 3000 bells at her sister's shop. Let me see what I can find. You won't be surprised to know that I always pass the fashion challenge. Oh, I want these antique boots. 
Oh man, they're so cute. What do you guys think? Should I get the black antique boots, the brown ones, or the like tan ones? I'm thinking the black ones and then we could be like a little pirate at some point. It would go well with your anchor outside. Those would be cute to go put with the anchor. Like they were just little pirate boots. Ziva loves your outfit, by the way. Well, thank you. <laughs> I just threw together the like stuff that went together the worst. And I was like, oh, it's perfect. I'm surprised you didn't get the little army helmet. I didn't see it. If I had, I would have put it on. It's covered in leaves. Do you guys think we should get the little helmet too? Let's see. Actually, let's get the boots for sure to use the tailor's ticket. Yeah, I'm going to buy I'm going to buy these boots and will it let me also buy <gasps> the cute little bandages. Oh my gosh, you put the bandages on, didn't you? Mm, no, I don't think I have a well, actually, yes, I do. I have a bandage on. All right, we'll try this. I'm going to buy it. Uh, do I want to wear it? No, not at the moment. And then I'm going to buy that beautiful kimono because I really want it. There's that meme going around. Oh, and the sweater. Where... Sorry, darling. No, you're fine. Um, there's this meme going around where it's like, oh, shopping at, at Timmy and Tommy's store. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm saving up my bills. You know, I don't want to be too, I don't want to spend too much. And it's like, oh, doing renovations for my island. Well, you know, that's kind of expensive in a long-term project. And then you go to the Mabel sisters or the Abel sisters and you just blow all your money. That sounds about right. Is that what you guys do too? I feel like I spend most of my money at the Abel sisters because I just absolutely have to have all of their cute things. Fashion is the true end game. In, Fashion is the true end game. In Animal Crossing. <laughs> I, I want the Yankee with no brim. Yeah, that's my fa That's one of my favorite memes going around right now. So <laughs> if somebody can make me a Yankee with no brim, I'm all about it. Are you up on that meme, Sid? No, I am Siri? not. I am not. My beloved darling is a meme king, in case you guys didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, it's my dream. It's my dream one day to be able to teach a class about memes because I think they're actually really. I actually think they're really important, and I think they do a really good job of describing like a, a society at, a, at any particular moment. Mm -hmm. And also, they're really funny, and I'm using that as a way to justify liking spending time looking at dumb memes. Well, I think that that's awesome. If you guys were at university, and what? How much were those shoes? Did you just blow all your money on some I just shoes? bought a 4,000 bell pair of shoes. No. Um, and no, I don't think I got the thing backlog. Oh, backlog. Yeah, backlog sent a gift for you, darling. I put it out. Uh, all right, guys. Do you guys... Oh, I saw that present that was sitting there. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, a present that's sitting next to the switch by my house or by the research center. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Okay, on. Hang on. I want to show everybody what it is first. Oh, Agent Annie says that they would love to attend a meme class because it'd also be perfect for the time. And Raven Silversea, hey, it's so good to see you, says literary meme analysis sounds more interesting than half my current classes. Yeah, I know. Because the problem is, is that if I gave anyone anything other than an A in memes, they would be so upset. Like, <laughs> you give somebody like a, a, a D in like math or science, they'd be like, oh, well, I get it. Those are hard topics. But it's like... How you do know, you, how would, how would you, how do you, how do you tell your parents, like, oh, I got, I got it, I got a D minus in memes. That would be a little bit tough. Yeah. And how would you grade memes? Well, you'd have them write, like, papers, and you'd have them, like, animal. Papers and reactions. Yeah, my, right, my idea would be, like, you'd pick uh, a particular, like, event or some particular, like, feeling from a particular period of history, and use memes to describe how memes are a way of dealing with it and thinking about mm -hmm. it um all right here i'm gonna open this present okay no no that's that's the present from the balloon what speaking of balloons oh, i hear this one present. yeah so this present right here guys backlog uh, actually you, sent specifically you, for you, mr you. meme king here also darling shh, there's a present where'd it go i heard it I heard it. I know I heard it. Oh, why do I have a little bit of lag? We'll have to mess with that later. 
It's gone. Yeah, I agree with you, Agent Annie. Yeah. Oh, and thank you, Wolves! Yeah, this is an alpinist dress I actually got in today's episode, which you guys will see tomorrow morning on the YouTube channel. Um, but in today's episode, we have a visitor, Molly! The doc is at the campsite, and when I crafted her the item she requested, she gave me this dress, which is very cute. Did you open your- <gasps> I did! It's my peach hat! The infamous peach hat! I think it goes well with my outfit. Here, let me see if that goes... I like my knit... Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I didn't know that getting you all dressed and prepped in different fashion things would be like one of the best things about this. Yeah, here, we gotta, gotta look styling. And right, Luna? People in the future will try to understand more memes, but will just get more confused. Oh, oh hey, little raccoon! Welcome! Gosh, you know, uh, I really absolutely think it's awesome. I think it's awesome how many of us end up having like animal names or being really into animals. It's really fun. And oh, thank you so much, Macro. Uh, macro. You you may lurk a lot, but you love hanging macro? out with streams. Macro? That's macro. Yeah, that's macro. That's, I think yeah, I yeah. really wanted to eat a macaroon just then. So Ooh. I was just gonna go with like macaroon without the N. Maybe I'm thinking about the dessert wars we had the other night. Here's another Siri uh, behind the scenes you guys might not know. She has a secret stash of chocolate that she doesn't let me know about. Because you eat all of it in one day. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just letting them know that you have, a, you have that secret stash. That's all I'm saying. I do. I have a secret stash of chocolate hidden somewhere here in the leafy green office. And you may wonder why. Why? When I don't like chocolate. I don't like sweets. Oh, oh hey, what, 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 what kind of dessert did you specifically want on your birthday? chocolate pudding pie but we had this discussion last what kind time. of what kind of dessert did you want on our wedding day chocolate pudding pie okay it's different i, just, I rest my case yeah, yeah, exactly. i don't like chocolate i like chocolate pudding pie it's a yeah, delicious well, yeah i do i know that it pudding. exists i have done everything wolves so wolves is like yeah i know about it so i've done everything like save rip up her closet looking for it like, like i will come into my office sometimes and okay no no that is an exaggeration no that doesn't happen sometimes i will come into my office and look around and there will be like drawers ajar my that toy journals true. have been that, moved like no, that that is a not few of true. my clothes have been shifted around in that, the closet no 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 put 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 a two in chat to doubt that i doubt that that's true <laughs> That's not true. And then later that evening, Chips will kind of like slide up and he'll be like, so, you know. I did, this is, this is a gross chocolate? exaggeration. This does not happen. <laughs> but the reason. Yeah, uh, the yeah, is yeah. I've got a lot of twos in chat. Yeah. <laughs> Backlog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. The reason the chocolate's hidden is because a certain chocoholic will eat all of it. And I don't like chocolate except very occasionally. And that is why we still have Halloween chocolate in so, my my room hiding somewhere. All right, this is this is my this is how <laughs> smackle. All right, that's fair. Uh, here's here's my here's my theory on it. Is it self control to know that you don't have enough self control? to not eat everything when it's in the house. So for instance, if we bring home a, like a bag of candy, I'll just eat the whole thing in 24 hours. I'll just do that because I don't have any self-control, but I have enough self-control to know that I'll do it so I don't allow it into the home. That's my strategy to have self-control with chocolate. Is but to I not think let it in the house. Yes, but I, I think there's some debate as to whether or not that's real self-control. Well, then, when I want a piece of chocolate and we have left the chocolate in the kitchen, I'll find that it has disappeared. Right, so or when you want to... lives or in my room. Well, what, what I think the most common thing that happens is like... <laughs> is you'll want like a cookie. Yeah, I want and, one cookie from... And we'll, make, and we'll make cookies and there'll be like 30 cookies and we live with each other <laughs> and we're in quarantine. <laughs> And somebody's got to eat the cookies. <laughs> I know, darling. It's a very serious condition that you take upon yourself the very important duty to eat all of the other cookies. Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. has to do it. 
Even though we could just eat one cookie and then the next day eat one cookie. But you know better. You know that this is not to be a war of attrition. We have to act swiftly and decisively and eat all of them that night. Hey, where did, did you scare off all your ocean fish? I don't see any ocean no. fish. Um, I did not. Uh, also, Octavian is actually crafting something. So I'm going to see what our octopus boy is doing in here. I've been admiring his little alien. <laughs> He's really cute. He's older. So Octavian is saying, ow, ow, ow. Must have been at this too long because my back's acting up. He's hurt his back. All right. He's making a wooden plank sign. I think I've already made this. this Look at his room... alien, darling. What is... This is so... What is that? That's an How alien. How do I get that? How do I get this? Isn't it awesome? Wow. I'll try to get him to move to your island and maybe we can just bounce him back and forth between work island and home island and then get all of his stuff. Because you know when they move out of your island, guys, they will leave some of this special furniture in the recycle bin in the town center. Mm. Very cool. Oh my gosh, my backpack is so full. What's the wooden plank sign look like? Let's find out. <laughs> Raven, Silver Sea. I follow the grab two or three cookies as I pass the cooling rack method. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, in series like, oh, we gotta wait for them to cool completely. And that's nonsense because they're the best when they're like piping hot. I know, and I'm like, darling, like I'll, I'll pull out pudding, or not pudding, I'll pull out like desserts from the oven and put them on the counter. And I'll be like, don't touch it, it's hot. And I'll turn my back to like put something away in here. Ow, it's hot, you didn't warn me. <laughs> that's not an exaggeration, that's true. That, that, that is true. Oh, there's still some star fragments out, cool. I actually need to empty my pockets. So what do you think about that wooden sign, by the way? Oh, let me take it, let me let me peep it, let me see. It is very cool. Yes, oh, I'm water. Cool. I th oh, yes, I'm water, it's so good to see you. Hopefully soon we'll be doing some Planet Zoo and we can check on how your water stand has been doing in the Nintendo Zoo. Uh, and yes, I'm water says, I throw them on the cold counter for five seconds and then eat them. Smart. That's how to do it. And Gumdrop, I think Octavian's really cool too. I love how he's kind of cranky. And thank you, Mandy. Maya Cat guess got the right idea. Enough self-awareness to know you're eating the chocolate, but not enough self-control to not eat it. <laughs> Sounds right. <laughs> hey, Octopi! Perfect timing since we were just visiting with Octavian. I love it. I'm gonna get, I'm in the house real quick to drop some of my items off, darling. Okay. I'm just fishing. That's a good thing to do. I'm gonna be doing some work on the, uh, I'm gonna be doing some work on trying to move some plants around tonight. That's one of my goals, to get ready for Earth Day. Are you guys excited about the Earth Day event? How many of you are playing Animal Crossing right now? Because I am so excited about the Earth Day event and I don't even know what's gonna happen. Hey, Spooky Sack. Dun, 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 dun. And let's see. Oh, turtle lover, you and Chips are oh, so entertaining together. Oh, thank you. We're this... like this all the time. We are like this all the time. All right, I gotta clean this up. I've got so many things in my pockets. There we go. I love our space room. I added the uh, sci-fi wall just temporarily to my little like special star room. And it is feeling pretty cool in here. Oh, Cindy Nicole, you're playing. The game is so addicting. I can't put it down. I know, right? It's like truly my happy place. And it came out at the perfect time. All of our friends play, don't they, darling? Yes. And at first, all of my like, you know, adult middle-aged friends were like, no, I'm not going to like it, but I'll play it because everybody else will. And then I'll log on at all times of the day. And it's like, now playing Animal Crossing, all your friends. Yep, it's really fun because we did have a lot of friends because, uh, you know, like in our age bracket who were like, ah, I don't know, I played it a long time ago. It wasn't really for me. And now every single person who has a Switch in our friend group and my family, everyone oops, across the board has Animal Crossing because it's just such the perfect escape game for right now. And it's so sweet on its own. Oh, Hippocrocka Donkey Pig! Yeah, hey! You're up in that same age bracket. You have one friend on it. You're 33 and you love it. Yeah. We love it. We love it so much. 
Let me put this away. Oh, that's so cool, Louis. Congratulations on your flowers. Oh, your Witcher puzzle? Toby, that sounds pretty fun. What other games do you like on the Switch, darling? I have like most of the Switch games. Like You really do. Well, it's so easy. So like it's easy to convince myself to buy a Nintendo game. A, because I know it's never gonna go down in value. Because mm -hmm. like when you buy a PC game or like a PlayStation game or like It's like just it, wait for the Steam sale is kind of yeah, like the impulse. Yeah, because you know it's gonna be like 60% off like six months from now. Yeah. So yeah. So I think the I think the best obviously Zelda's the best. Um I really, really like Mario Maker. I think that's such a great game. You're so good at it. I am terrible at platform games. But guys, if you ever want to see a professional play Mario Maker. I am no 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 no. Oh you darling, you are. No, I am not. No, I'm not. I'm not like a like a there's there's people who play on like ultra expert. I'm, I'm not an ultra expert. Oh, it actually Sweetener points out one of our other favorite games for the Switch, darling. That is the cutest game ever, Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi's Mansion 3 is so freaking cute. Maybe we should like do that for um for Halloween this year. We should have done it for Halloween last year. We should That's have. A, should have. Like we could do Luigi's Mansion together. That would be really fun. All right, let's see. And then Ashi Senpai do you know what number for unlocking a random sub uh, on mobile? I think it's 420. Uh, I have to actually play more with my little pixel points rewards, but I am very happy to do that. Oh, wait, Zelda's on discount, Innocent Bubble? What? Zelda is apparently on sale right now, darling. Both of the Zelda games on the Switch are excellent. But if you have to pick one, you should pick Breath of the Wild. I haven't played it yet, but it is absolutely on my list to try. Well, you got to hurry up. I think they're going to release the uh, second one sometime this year. I know. <laughs> Who knew that playing so many video games for a living could leave you, like, perpetually exhausted and trying to catch up? Let me put this away. Oh, Smaggle Doggle, uh, do you see I his question? Lo yep. Love, love Mario Odyssey. It's one of my favorites. Um... You know, the, the, um, I personally, my favorite Mario's are the more linear ones like Mario galaxy one and two. Um, I know that's, those are not the most popular, but like Mario galaxy one and two, 3d world and 3d land are my favorites. I thought Mario Odyssey was adorable. And I know this is going to date me a lot, but, um, my I think one of my like top five favorite Mario games is Mario Wario Land Two. Wario Land Two. Uh, on the uh, on the Game Boy, that one is incredible. Or Mario Land Two, yeah. Also, really quickly, hi Dingle. I hope you're having a good time. I'm glad you're with us. Uh, and then, let's see. Somebody else asked something. Oh, Durple, you unlocked the two sub, the random sub emotes. Congratulations. All right, and then my cat, yes, I did hear rumors that new shops might be coming to, uh, might be coming to New Horizons. In fact, speaking of rumors, what do you guys think might happen for Earth Day? I'm gonna start doing a little gardening to get things going. Oh, Dizzy Ball Packs, thank you! <laughs> thank you for the Dizzy Raid, Dizzy. It's so good to see dizzy you. Raid, I hope you're having raid. a good night. A little Dizzy Raid. Thank you! <laughs> Oh, Dizzy, hey! Look at your wonderful, wonderful hen! Dizzy, if you're around real quick, I need to show you. Since you landed in the nest, here is Mama Snake Neck. She is a mama goose sitting on an, a nest. We're gonna be keeping an eye on her and sharing progressive pictures as the weeks go by. Hopefully of goslings. So Mama Snake Neck. Every time someone lands in the nest tonight, I feel like obligated to show an actual nest. <laughs> And then, oh, if Kix got a shop, Wolves, I would be really happy. It would be cute if Kix got a shop. Oh, hey, Dizzy. And drunkest, <laughs> a scorched earth event. Oh my goodness. Let's see. 
Sweetener says Mario Tennis is also one of their favorite games, darling. Oh my, yes, yeah. You're I, really I, good at Mario Tennis too. I love me some Mario Tennis. I am a, I prefer simple mode without all of the jumping around. Um, maybe because I'm a boomer, I don't know. Um, <laughs> You're not a boomer. <laughs> Uh, boomers, boomers, not an age. It's it's a it's a state of mind. Um. <laughs> You're younger than me. You can't be a boomer. But yes, Mario Tennis is incredibly good. I love I love Mario Tennis. Although I haven't played it in a while. Um, I don't know if the online is still populated in that one. I love anything that has a tournament mode, and that has a really fun tournament one to go for. As you can tell, Chips is also well-versed in video games. He does not have a Twitch channel, as many people kept asking after l last time we were streaming together. You're such a natural, darling. Everyone thought you already had a Twitch. Well, I, I speak in front of people for a living. You do, so, as a professor. Yeah, so it's not really like a, a big step to talk to people who can't see me. So, <laughs> for social distancing reasons. For social distancing reasons. That's why Chips is in his office. That's also, right. I dug up all of these flowers because, guys, this is going to be our special event island. And to celebrate the special event of Earth Day, which, if you can't tell, I'm ridiculously excited about, we're going to turn this into a garden that will support little tiny micro gardens of hybrid plants so we can try to breed as many of the rare hybrids as possible. Which means... Oh, I can't move that. Drunkest? No, not the one on the Virtual Boy, the one on the Switch, uh, Mario Tennis Aces. Although the one on the Virtual Boy, I was gonna say it is good, it's actually terrible. Oh, the Mario Tennis? Yeah, I think it's like the only, like, it's one of the only playable games on the Virtual Boy, but like, it's not good. That doesn't make it good. <laughs> See, I love it because I tend to play a handful of games, um, which, okay, like, don't laugh, guys. I know we have so many games on our YouTube channel because we've played, or we've made over 8,000 episodes, but I tend to play, like, a good familiar handful of games. And then there's Chips. His Steam library is, like, twice to three times the size of mine. He has every Switch game you could think of. You are quite the aficionado, my dear. Wait, what am I wrong about, Smaggle? Do you, oh, wait, do you actually like the Virtual Boy? Ooh. I mean, what do you mean by good? <laughs> like, it depends on what you mean by good. Like, it's good. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, you never played it. So, like, it, it, it's, it would be good if it was on a different platform, but the way the Virtual Boy controls is, like, like a modern console has two analog sticks, but the Virtual Boy is that, but it's two D-pads. So like it would work really well if it was on a sensible console. I think, I think. What is the console that's not sensible? The Virtual Boy. What console is it on? Wait, is what, it a console console? The Virtual Boy is a console. I had never heard of it. Well, yeah, cause it was terrible. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you guys want some good strong opinions, Chips is Chips is your guy. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I'm water. I feel the same way where I tend to play like only four games. And uh, earlier I saw someone asking uh what my favorite game on Switch is. It's definitely Animal Crossing right now. Hard to beat. It's just so hard to beat. I mean, like somewhere on this island, Chips is fishing for like marlin or something. Well, I'm over here digging up bamboo so that I can put down gardens with beautiful flowers that I bred. That's really hard to beat. Hey, the fox, welcome. Welcome to the adventures. Yeah, Wolves, you and I sound like we play the same games. Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing. Luna Claw says that you should be a game rater, darling. I've, I've always thought that was fun, but like, that's the kind of thing where you can't win because if you don't like someone's favorite game, they're just gonna, they're gonna hate you. And they're gonna let you know about it. Hmm. That's true, it would be like, uh, what's, a, what's a example? Ooh, okay, so we talked about good games that we like, but what are mm -hmm. some examples, you guys, of games that maybe aren't very, like, quote unquote good, that are actually some of your favorite? Because I think that that's a good question. Hmm. Oh, hey. I love oh, my fashion outfit. Yeah, this is high fashion. You gotta look good. 
Hey, the fox. Oh, and I've heard of it, Shining Eevee Games. I don't know if it could be on my list right now, but I've heard of Ark and it has been on my radar. I think it's actually in my Steam library too. Is that still in early access? I think I think that's some of the big controversy with Ark is that it's still oh, in early access. You have a large star fragment over here, by the way. Oh, Lavissa, that is such a wonderful way to describe it. Uh, that's their opinion, and you would like to share your opinion. So you should set it up in a way where it's a conversation and not kind of like an end-all be-all. And Kitsune says that like some of the Roblox games are their favorite. My brother loves Roblox too. And oh, he's yeah. he's as like stern a game reader as Chips is. <laughs> so backlog, I don't I don't have all the bad I don't have every game. All of the I've all I have most of the like mainstream like Nintendo releases that are good. Um I think I'm missing like a couple, but like, I don't know. I get a lot of, I got a lot of joy out of playing Nintendo games. They make me feel like a kid again. Like this is such a good one. They let you live that dream of being able to pay off a house. <laughs> oh, we got a pink lily plant, darling. I will have to, I think actually that was given to me. Yeah, the pink lily plant was actually given to me by Olive, one of our amazing patrons. Oh, Sims Freeplay, yeah, cuterly. I like Sims Freeplay a lot too. Okay, you guys, I've never ever told you guys this. Chips knows this. Do you guys wanna know my my guilty pleasure games? I have two. I have two major guilty pleasure games. No, maybe not two. I, I haven't played Bejeweled in years, so scratch that. I have one guilty pleasure game that I actually play a lot of hours of every single month. And I've never, ever, ever told you guys about it. <laughs> Backlog's right about that one, but I think people know about that. <gasps> oh, RimWorld is not my my guilty pleasure game. Cause I've actually played that with the patrons before. So RimWorld is not the guilty pleasure game. Uh, if we're talking about games that are objectively perhaps not what people would call quote unquote good, but provide a lot of joy and make you happy anyway. It's, uh, <clears throat> the, see, RimWorld I have like 300 hours in, and that's not a guilty pleasure. That's dedication. <laughs> you haven't even played the new expansion yet, though. I haven't. I have, I will have to do that. That would be really fun to do one night with you, my love. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool to do. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of like RimWorld with like some chips co-piloting? He can, he can name the animals. You're very good at that. That would be fun. There's co-op mods. We could just do co-op. True, but I don't know if the mods are updated for the royalty. Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay, Winworld guesses Red Dead Redemption. Uh, oh, no, it's saying, Assassin's I think, Creed. the games that they like. Assassin's Creed, Days Gone By. Um, the Fox, Dragonville World is gone. They like straight up just deleted that sucker. I was a little bit frustrated. I wonder why. They weren't making enough money. That's the way the app game stuff works. Uh, oh, and bye, sweetener. Okay, I'll tell you guys the secret. It's probably not gonna shock you. And it, Chips, do you know what my guilty pleasure game is? Is it on the Is it on the um, Android? It's on tablet. Is Are you talking about Gardenscapes? It's Gardenscapes. <laughs> yeah. Like, apparently it's a really big thing because like, they keep making <laughs> content for that. It's Gardenscapes. I am on level 2000 in Gardenscapes. Yeah, we. I know we're in trouble when they give her like, oh, you get two hours of free lives. I'm like, oh, geez. <laughs> then I just curl up and I'm like, all right, look, I'm thinking, I'm plotting my next Warrior Cats plots. That's what I'll tell Chips. I'm like, no, no, you don't understand. This is, this is totally work. And then I'll just like zen out and play Gardenscapes. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it sounds like me, right, Lunaclaw? Gardenscapes is my um, my guilty pleasure game that I have. Like I'm on level 2000. There's only 4,000 levels in the game and they have been keeping the game going for ages. All right, let me go ahead. And then, oh, Wolves, have a good night. Lewis, you have a friend who loves Gardenscapes? Yeah, it's my, I, I guess guilty pleasure is a good way to put it. They really can catch you. You gotta watch out. Because every now and then, 
Gardenscapes will be like, oh, look at the little the puppy. He's got sad eyes and he only needs $1.99 to keep going. You gotta watch out with those app games. And when they start serious. adding in plants and they add in cute little animals, and they're like, you could adopt this fox if you just beat this level for 99 cents. Then I'm in trouble. Oh, my watering can's done. Well, the thing that gets you is not like the plants or the cute stuff. It's that you have a set of tasks that you get to complete. That's actually true. So the thing about Gardenscapes and why I get sucked into it, which will surprise nobody who knows me, is that it has gorgeous to-do list. It has these fantastic goals that you get to meet. And the satisfaction of once you do enough levels, you get the star points and you watch the mess be cleaned up. You restore land that has been destroyed. And you can see how I am a sucker. Hook, line, and sinker. Let me grab my water. Oh, Dizzy! Tomorrow's Greek Easter and you get to celebrate with your husband and his family for the first time. That's so fun! I hope you guys have a very safe Easter, all considering. <laughs> Swan feather. This is one of the reasons I love you, Siri. I, I love tidying things up. I love cleaning things. It's just who I am. Also, we destroyed my watering can, so we're going to make another one. And we're going to make it green really quickly. Oh, Farmville 2 was definitely my guilty pleasure for a long time, Ziva. I just can't get into it on the tablet, and that was what saved me. <laughs> my cat, we're so happy. Oh, yeah, we're doing good. We're we, doing um, good. We're introverts at heart. And um, we still get to go on our daily walks. Yeah. So we still get to get out of the house a little bit. Yeah, we're doing and, and, really good. And we both walk, work from home, so it's yeah. perfect. We both work from home. We work with each other. Uh, so we're doing really good. All right. Also, darling, did you see my really cool island, by the way? Uh, I'm on your island. In the middle? It's really cool. Do you like oh. how I made the skipping stone? Oh. <laughs> I, was like, I, I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> you are on my island, aren't you? Huh? Yeah. I meant the island in the island. Oh, islandception over here. Yeah. yeah. I like it. It's very cool. So what I really love is I added all of these skipping stones tonight, mm -hmm. and it'll show up in tomorrow's episode because this is new to everybody here, um, so that you don't have to put a bridge down everywhere. You can still get over really quickly but you don't have to worry about building bridges on all sides. Eventually like I'll add in some bridges. World record long jump, not this one, but over here. Come here. Oh, the one down here? Yeah, it's like world record long jump. Look at that, that's ridiculous. That's... Standing long jump. <laughs> that's that's crazy. And you wonder why this island is only populated with sporty types. Also, twinning vine. Oh, I hope you have a wonderful time. Oh, I'm so glad you love the room. Oh, and you guys got married in December. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm really happy that you, uh, just for, for all of that. Thank you. Everybody's so nice, guys. Oh, that's right. Mangaroo, you can indeed use the customization kit, just in case you guys didn't know. Here, I'll show you. Like this customization kit right here lets you change the color of your tools. And it also resets the durability on your tools. So I always think it's really cute. Like when you are using the customation customization kit. Oh, hey, when we're all thank you so much <laughs> for the biddies. But I, I really like um, how when you use the customization kit, it fixes your tools because I imagine that not only are you getting in there with a the paintbrush, you've got like a little bit of glue and you're just kind of like tidying it up and making it really, really nice so your tools will keep going. That's my headcanon for when you're playing with that. Also, Ganyu, you recently celebrated your 15th wedding anniversary. That is awesome. Yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. I guess, what are we gonna stream when we hit our 15th wedding anniversary, darling? Maybe in VR. Like, <laughs> Have a VR stream. Yeah. Like, who even knows? 15 years from now. You know, I, I can tell you exactly what's gonna happen 15 years from now, and what we'll probably be streaming 15 years from now. Animal Crossing? Mm, I wish it would be Animal Crossing, but I'm, you, I'm gonna give you, like, the real answer. 
What's the real answer? Minecraft. It's true. Probably true. <laughs> I think Minecraft is eternal. <laughs> oh, Mab uh, Mabel's able or Maple able or Mabel's Mabel? able. Mabel's able would be such a cute thing. Like Mabel from the Able Sisters has a fun suggestion that we could do sometime, my love. What's that? Don't starve, which oh, you're actually funny. really good at. You're hyping me up to be good at all this stuff, so that when it all goes like... The point is that you have fun. That's how you're yeah. good at it. It's true. It's true. There we go. Pixelmon or something like that would be fun, too. You guys have some good ideas. And I was just over here like, la di da di da what am I going to work on on the island tonight? All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm moving some of the rarest of our flowers onto this island. And eventually what I would like to do is to keep like three colors of a flower that we're clearly trying to breed put together with one another. And when we water them, hopefully we'll get more of the that color. And we'll keep the island looking like this for the duration of Earth Day so that we can enjoy having Earth Day with leaf. And actually, I think I want to keep all the flowers. Should we have them all facing, like, should we have them in all horizontal plots or vertical plots? Or do you think having the lilies vertical and other flowers horizontal is okay? Darling, am I overthinking it? I think you're overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. I, I suspect that people who see them aren't going to be like, oh my gosh, her tulips are vertical, but her petunias are horizontal. <laughs> When you put it like that. <laughs> Maybe that was too strongly put. Darling, yeah. did you pick my hyacinths? No, I might have run past them a little fast, but I didn't pick them. Are you sure? Why are there hyacinths on the floor? Oh, you mean at the... Near, uh, I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. We're preparing the island for leaf, darling, remember? Hey, do you have a um, iron nugget? Yeah, I've got some iron nuggies. I'll, I'll drop them off at the little table. What little <laughs> table? Uh, the little DIY table that I have. All right, I'm coming. There we go. I can hear you changing clothes somewhere nearby. I was changing items. Oh, I see. Caught red-handed. <laughs> mm, thank you, thank you. All right. I'm going to be really sad if Leaf shows up and like it doesn't have anything to do with new items, but I have hope because they say that the update with Leaf is actually going to include um, like new features for the game. Oops. <laughs> My cat. Google says your real name is Siri Green. That's not it, but good job, Google. Oh, animal fan, uh, I think it'd be nice if when Leaf, the sloth, who is in Animal Crossing, comes on Earth Day, if he would actually, uh, like, bring special items and, like, new features. I'm not even sure what I would want. I, like, I'm so happy with Animal Crossing as it is. Oh, hey, Muggly! I, I can't really picture what more could there be. Perhaps my imagination is just failing me. All right, we're gonna scoot these trees at the back and I'm actually gonna take down this fence back here. Oh, I can't while he's visiting, that's fine. Well, oh. You're fine, darling. I can get out of here. No, 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 no. I don't want you to have to go. Unless you unless you need to go. No, no, I'm all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we're cool, darling, we're cool. I need more coconuts to eat real quick because I'm moving trees. Poor KK, we've just been like, what's up KK, busy, Leaf's on his way. I have plants to plant, no time. Ooh, ground, oh bushes, that's right. That's right, you guys, bushes and bananas would be really good additions. If you could add any fruit to Animal Crossing, ooh, another star piece, what would you add? One word that sounds like two, watermelon. <gasps> I would love watermelon, that I'm would be so you. much fun. Mm. Telling you. Actually, there is a watermelon item. Yeah, I think it would be cool if they had seasonal fruits. So like watermelon in the uh, in the summer. Oh, um, I love like that Like apples idea. in the fall. 
It'd be really fun if there were even like trees that you could get that had like seasonal trees. Or a greenhouse. If you, I could get a greenhouse item from Leaf, I would be fulfilled. Ooh, kiwi, this grapes, strawberries, berry bushes. Ooh, what about a berry bush that changes with the seasons? That would work. That would work. Like strawberry berry bush in spring. And then blueberry in the summer or something like that. Maybe kiwi berry in the summer. Uh, and then we would have... Tomatoes. <laughs> okay, tomatoes would be cute. A tomato fight. Can you imagine if you could have a tomato fight? Like, and you could, like, have three minutes to run around and throw tomatoes. It would be like the Harvest Moon games that let you have tomato fights. Imagine that, but in Animal Crossing. And it'd be like, Cranston! Cha! Just, like, throw tomatoes. And the more people you hit with tomatoes, the better. I think you're onto something. That w I want tomato fighting in Animal Crossing. Oh, excuse me. Hi. Hi. Wait, hi. Hi. How you doing? How's it good? Oh, acorns would be so cute. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomato, tomato fights. I like how people have uh, they're they're with that. And watermelon breaking in the summer would be really fun. See, if they added tomato fights, then they can just adjust it for the winter for like snowball fights. Mhm. Mm Give you three minutes to like get as many snowballs out there as possible. <laughs> Across the ecliptic, let's face it, we'd love anything that turns Animal Crossing into Stardew Valley. This is true. Ooh, placeable items in rivers and lakes. <gasps> Backlog. That'd be so fun. Like if you could have lily pads, that would be amazing. <laughs> I did, I did. In in um and it used to be, of course, you know, darling, the running meme was every time I would run past you in zoo crafting, I'd be like, darling, mwah, and give you a kiss. And now I'm like, oh, wait, darling, I got flowers to plant. I got flowers. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I'll remember. Well, it, you know, Gnu, in my defense, he's wearing a hat made out of soft serve ice cream that's brown. So they say. It's chocolate. Oh! Oh, Ancamius! How would you say Ancamimi? Anca, 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 Anca. Anca. Anca, thank you so much. It's so good to see you again. And Acroboy Gaming, welcome to the nest. I'm, I think you made it safely. Ooh, Smile Doggle, you hope they add returning villagers to the game that were added in previously. I would really love it if you could maybe have more to do with the camper to be honest like the yeah. campground person it's fun that you can like learn a diy item from them and it's fun that you can uh that you can like get items from them once a day but i really was hoping the camper would come out of the little tent and maybe wander around a bit i could understand how people wouldn't like that but i think it would add a lot more I'm gonna hide in the trees and sip my water. <laughs> oh, thank you, Anakamius. They say, congratulations, darling. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, you know what we should do for our one week anniversary tomorrow? What's that? We should make a chocolate pie. <laughs> You've been on a chocolate kick. Uh, I have I really mean... just, I, I don't like chocolate, but I want that chocolate pie. It's really good. It's really good. And we get an excuse to make graham crackers. That's true. You guys, I might have to like do a little vlog or something making those graham crackers. Because I thought graham crackers were going to be hard. They're not. And they're ridiculously delicious. Easy peasy. They're easy. They're really fun because you get to stab them and like put a bunch of holes in them. Oh, Rowan Louie, thank you so much. Welcome to the nest. Gosh, it's so good to have you. Okay, stay. Okay, good. Your egg made it. I always get so nervous, darling, when the eggs are falling because occasionally yeah. they bounce. Yeah, in hindsight, that's really quite uh, hectic. And uh... I know. It was supposed to be cute. And instead, I'm like, I'm getting heart palpitations like every time. I'm like, the egg. <laughs> oh, across the ecliptic, you'd love a how-to on graham cracker making. <gasps> darling, do you think we should get tiny little animal, um, animal, like, cookie cutter things? 
for the for the graham crackers? And then we could make animal crackers. That could work. That could work. That'd be fun. Here, maybe I'm gonna line the hyacinths up this direction now. I'm pretty happy with this. We're gonna put down maybe a few paths. Like maybe a path right down the middle here. And try to keep this looking pretty nice. I think I need to terraform. Yeah, we'll probably do some major terraforming in some upcoming episodes that we have of our normal episodes of Animal Crossing on the YouTube channel to make uh, Event Island a little bit more symmetrical. <laughs> and we'll carry on with adding in some of the rare plants here. Let's go find more of my hybrid flowers. Oh yes, I wonder, what are you getting flashbacks from for the hyacinths? I'm curious. Let me grab the orange ones. Oh, grape hyacinths took over your garden. They're beautiful. I love hyacinths. Swan Feather says animal crackers are way underrated. I liked when they would come in that little box that looked like they were circus animal. And obviously circuses are questionable, but it was really cool to have them in that little box. Way back when. My grandpa loved animal crackers. Um, Papa, my grandpa, loved animal crackers. That's actually one of my like most vibrant childhood memories because he would go to Walmart and he would buy the big tub, like bigger than me as a child. Like I remember he would pick it up and hand it to me and I would wrap my arms around it and just waddle around holding the very important crackers. They were Papa's animal crackers and you had to ask before you could eat them. But he would he have a whole tub them. of them. Yeah. And I think, like, he was a really serious man. But looking back, I think he made it into, like, this really big deal. Like, you know, you can't eat those. Those are mine. You have to ask first. Because then he would hand them to me, like, one at a time. <laughs> and I think that, actually, it was just cute. <laughs> and nobody eats animal crackers one at a time. No. So I think that's how Papa was, like, just playing with me. Now that I'm older, I'm like, wait a second. That's how people try to get kids to do the cute, like, please, may I have more? Oh. Uh, but that's okay. That's one of my best memories about him, actually. Hey, what do you think about these? <gasps> Did you just catch that? Yeah, I caught myself an ore fish. Oh I hope my I gosh. catch more fish. Congratulations, darling. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a picture with you. Like I've gotta I've gotta I wanna stand over here and I'm gonna clap and take a picture with you. That's excellent. Look at that sucker. Oh, darling, can you look up some facts about the oarfish? Sure. I would love happy. that. I'm going to you... mute my mic so that it doesn't make a lot of noise. With, uh, do you guys know any um, cool facts about the oarfish? I know long boy, long boy fish. Because last time we learned some really cool facts about the water bug that I did not expect to know. But we learned that there was a lot more about the water bug than I thought. There's a three-year-old orfish. There's an orfish documentary. Also, Isabel, welcome. Welcome to the adventures. Canoe. I know that they're probably not useful for moving around in a canoe. <laughs> I don't think that. Um, I don't that's think good. Orfish... that's good. That's darn good. That's, that's darn good. That's, that's good. That, that, that gets the seal of approval. That's amazing. I feel like we need, hey Catwalk, welcome. I feel like we need some sort of um, pun mascot in our community. That's been on my mind lately. Oh, Neighborhood Dragon! Hey! Neighborhood Dragon, it's so good to see you again. Welcome to the nest. You clearly hatched out of the egg that just flew into the nether realms. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Animal Fan says that oarfish lack scales. What? Yes, apparently unlike many boating fish, oarfish lack scales. Instead, they have tubercules and a silvery coat of material called guani. Although they are adapted to survive under high pressure, at the surface their skin is soft and easily damaged. Oh, wow. And apparently they're not dangerous, despite what they might look like. So are they deep sea fish then? Oh yeah, they're deep sea boys. Wow, that's really cool. And they can get to be very large. See, I like these facts. We're, we're here for oarfish facts, guys. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. 
they are um, least concerned. They're not that, uh, they're not in danger of extinction. Good, good, good. Always glad to hear that they're not in trouble. Oh, and hydrate time. Thank you, Lavissa. Because they are not often seen, and because of their size, elongated bodies, and appearance, giant oarfish are presumed to be responsible for some sea serpent sighting. That's Ooh! Cool. So they might be behind some sea serpent sightings. Also, uh, Fiancero, that sounds amazing. I hope you have a fantastic time looking at shooting stars. Like, what? I am so envious. Oh, is there a meteor shower going on? Here? Apparently, somebody is going to be able to see some shooting stars tonight. Mm. We did that last night, or like two nights ago, didn't we, darling? Yes, we did. Nice romantic time. Yep, yep, yep. Unhealthy oarfish beach themselves before they die, and people can't save them because they can't survive in shallow water. Wow. Yeah, I think that's how most people come in contact with them. See, now I'm quite curious. Um, just like hearing about them makes me think about the deep sea again. Mm, are we going to do a Siri goes to the deep sea? I've been thinking about... Um, you want to go in a submarine? Is that what you've been thinking about? That would be amazing. If I could live stream from like inside of a submarine, like sign me the heck up for that. Hey, Catacombs! Amazing name, by the way. Welcome to the adventures. We're searching for more of my pink hyacinths. Maybe we'll have that be a really high Patreon tier room. <laughs> if we ever hit like a million dollars, we'll go. <laughs> They're like, we'll name a submarine something Well, cool. no, we'll go in a submarine. Well, we, we've got to buy it first. Because why not? That'd be cool. It's true. KK is just singing over there. I know I got to talk to him sometime soon, but I've got so many flowers. Got to do something That's with. That's why you bring a really long Ethernet cable, Swan, though. <laughs> Well, and um, I have been thinking about doing Subnautica, though. That's a good social distance stand-in for, you know, going on submarine. a submarine. Yeah, but there's not more social distance you could be from people than, like, at the bottom of the ocean. Except with the people who know how to drive the submarine. It's true. <laughs> I would need their presence. And then, oh, Backlog, yeah, I'm actually going to try to request one of KK's hidden songs from him which I should probably do pretty soon. Darling, do you want to come to the KK concert? Yeah, I want to come to the KK concert. I'm coming. All right. He's singing all sorts of stuff over here. Here, I'm going to try to change into one of my cute outfits. Oh, me too. Because we're, we're now at the concert together. Oh, this looks good. cute. This is my Bab Moo outfit. It's supposed to say Bamboo, but I misspelt it, so it's Bab Moo. Gotta roll with it. Gotta roll with it. Oh, we actually look like we're on a little date. Oh, let me make an ocarina real quick and we can play a concert with KK. Excellent thinking, darling. Oh, Anokamias, I'm not sure if I would be able to be in it. Could you really go on a deep sea sub, darling? How deep is deep? I mean, we're gonna go see a fish. No. Just you know it, huh? Like, if we went deep enough that if if the submarine failed, I could swim safely to the surface, I'm I'm all in. But I mean, that's that, like no. fifteen feet. <laughs> I bet I could do twenty. Do 20. Oh, Faye! Sleep well, sleep well! Oh my gosh, you're in Iceland? Oh. Iceland's awesome. Iceland's Highly awesome. Highly recommend going. If we anybody... loved Iceland. It was fantastic. It was one of the. Going to Iceland was like stepping into a fantasy book. It was amazing. Maybe because we were sleep deprived and were only there for 22 hours. But it was amazing. All right. Oh, hey, Echo, welcome! We're gonna do a concert with KK real quick. And me. And you, of course, darling. Yeah, Swan Feather Iceland was beautiful. It was so weird to look around and see no trees and the sun like never moved, even though hours would pass. And the whole land was just covered in moss and horses and these gorgeous, tall, sharp mountain, that mountain plateau and waterfalls. Everywhere you look, there were waterfalls. And puffins. 
Lots of puffins. We found the puffins. We found the puffins. You saved the day. All right, let me grab my ocarina. I've never crafted an ocarina before. All right. Okay, that's precious. Oh, we're jamming now. You guys, this is so cool. I get to go on all these great dates. Uh oh, are you requesting something from him? I said thanks, but not now. I'll let you do it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna teach you guys a very special secret KK song. So Wait, do you, are you sure it works? Have you done it before? No, so I may uh -oh. not teach it to you. The pressure's on, but you can request songs from KK and you can ask for songs that come in the game already. But there's, I think three songs now, there may be more, but I know of at least three that KK has his hidden Easter egg songs. And if you type the name of the song in, it will pop up and he will play it and give you a copy of the song afterward. So we're going to see if this works. Ma Mabel, Mabel's able or Maple's Sable or Mabel, Mabel. <laughs> I cannot pronounce the name of anything in Iceland. Like it's very, very, very tricky. But all right, let's do this secret song. I can dial up an old favorite or you can tell me how you're feeling and I'll groove to it. Uh, okay, so I'll leave it up to you. I'm in a mood. Give me that one song. I'm in a mood. Let's hear it. What's the mood over in Siriville? Um, it's hard to say. Cool, I'm dialed in. Once everyone takes a load off, I'll be ready to jam. Oh no! I didn't think I didn't know how to request it, darling. I messed up. Oh. Okay, I messed up. Don't worry, guys. They'll be next week. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna take a seat and put up my feet. Pass the word to your friends so I can get started. Alright, you guys ready? I messed it up. I won't be able to request the secret song, but that means we're going to be able to go ahead and have KK serenade us. This one's for all you cats who don't like to be bald, boxed in. It's called KK Blues. Here we go. Are you ready to jam? Oh, I'm ready to jam. Can you hear him? I have it turned down so the mic doesn't hear it. Yeah, I'll turn mine off. Hang on, I'm gonna mute myself. Now, me, now, me, oh, now, me, now, me, oh, que, que, me, oh, me, oh, it's beautiful. Look at this dancing. We're really getting into it. This is so cute. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. And I, it's really fun that you get like the whole scene with all of the credits every week. But all right, once KK finishes up, he'll give us a copy of his song too. And my goal is that we can meet every week to kind of see what's up. I know, isn't it awesome? We're just vibing. Yeah. Yeah, we out here vibing. We vibing. Oh my god, Penelope and oh my god, you have Fauna? Oh my gosh, I want Fauna so bad. I, in fact, here, I don't know how many of you guys know. Do you guys know how much I love Fauna? Fauna and I share a birthday. I know how much you like Fauna. Chips knows how much I like Fauna. I'm about to show you guys, all of you who are Animal Crossing fans. Hi, White Star, Elder Scroll. I'm about to show you guys how much I love Fauna. She and I not only get along so well, we vibe so great, our aesthetic is on point together. We share a birthday, March 26th. This is how much I love Fauna. Oh my gosh, Arky, thank you so much for feeding the cow plants $10. Thank you. We've got some nice fruit going on in there. And this is how much I love Fauna, guys. Do you see this? Behold. That's a lot. I love her so much. I had a custom amiibo commissioned to craft Fauna. 
it has her amiibo card inside the bottom. So yeah, that's how much I love Fauna is I actually had a custom amiibo of her made so that I could add it in. <laughs> so I'm really hoping uh, I can go ahead and add her to the village at some point. I just want it to be at the right point. I kind of want to get the village looking nice before I invite my girl Fauna over. Hey, cards, welcome. That was like unreal. Thank you, KK. Thank you. I know, isn't it beautiful? That is from uh, DIY Crossing. They do amazing work. I have multiple of their custom amiibos. It looks legitimate. It looks legitimate. And hang on, I'll show you the other custom amiibos real quick. I actually forgot how many I have. <laughs> But I have uh, four custom amiibos that DIY Crossing... Five! Five! Hang on! It's a good sign, New. Okay, there we go. I have five custom amiibos that I got from DIY Crossing. One is my Fauna. She's so beautiful. And all of them come with the amiibo card hidden inside of the base. Then I have one of the older amiibos. This is the very first one from like four years ago of Nat. My boy, the bug catcher Nat. I love the idea that Flick is somehow related to him because they're both familiar. Nat's not in this one, right? Nat is not. He's been replaced with Flick, but I have zero complaints about Flick. <laughs> Flick is so freaking cool. But I've got Nat. Then I also have June, who I love because she reminds me a lot. Uh, I'm part Hawaiian and she reminds me a lot of my heritage because she's just this really sweet bear who's really into tropical things and she has a hibiscus that she wears in her hair. She's really nice and she calls, uh, like her catchphrase is rainbow. So I have a June amiibo. Then I have got Isabel in a, her kimono, kimono, or like amiibo. Like I've got quite the Animal Crossing obsession in case you guys didn't know. And finally, I have a custom amiibo that is a custom design of my Gouldian Finch, Ossiai, who passed away of old age a while ago. But he's got a cute little leaf tie and he is my gorgeous Gouldian Finch. He's the only one without an amiibo because, I mean, he was of my actual pet. But I love all of these. Yeah, they're really... Oh, thank you guys! Yeah, they're really beautiful. So those are the pieces I've gotten so far from DIY Crossing. Hey, Marley and me! Welcome! I really love them. Alright. <laughs> Darling, what are you up to over here? Nothing, nothing. Cranston, put on some pants. Do you see Cranston here? You gotta give him some pants. I gave him a lot of pants and he refuses to put them on. I, I, as a joke, I gave him this bathrobe a few days ago thinking, haha, my villagers don't usually decide to wear the clothes. Look at this boy. Now he just walks around without pants. I love him. He really likes it. He loves it's a very, it. It's a very, uh, it's a socially liberal island, I guess. <laughs> it really is. I think yeah. it's because he's a lazy type. Oh man, that makes him even better. I, I, I don't think I have any lazy. I just have like weird cranky. No, you have a cranky... lazy villager. Who? Your best boy. Puck. Oh, Puck. Puck's Puck. my favorite villager. Puck is your best boy. Puck is the best. Does it? If anybody else has Puck, they know. They, they know. know. Puck, Puck's, Puck's a best. good boy. Puck's the best. Puck is the best. Cranston. Cranston's good, but Puck is my guy. Wait, actually, maybe I want to leave these here. Actually, I'm gonna move these. Okay. Oh no, darling, I keep digging up trees and I don't mean to. You're too strong. You got too swole. Dang it. All right, let me a second. Oh, thank you, on Onikamius. I love my little Gouldian Finch, too. <laughs> right, white, white stair, or white, Elder Scrolls, wait. Yes. He does have a lot of feathers. I love Cranston. He's just such a good boy. All right. What you doing up there, darling? I'm digging all the uh, fossils that you didn't get. Here, I'm gonna give them to you. Oh, thank 
you. You can drop him in front of uh, Blather's place. <laughs> okay, so you don't even want. Okay, I'll just put him down. <laughs> no, darling. I don't no, it's fine. Him. It's whatever. It's no big deal. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm on. A, I, I have to stay focused. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I have to stay focused. I'm searching for flowers. Oh, I remember what flowers I was searching for now. These guys. We're gonna move these guys onto Special Event Island. Oh Molly! Yeah, we get we have Molly visiting our campsite tonight, actually, guys. I already took care of her. Uh, and she gave us the alpinist dress. She actually was very sweet with that. There we go. Molly's really sweet. It's really fun to see what everybody's favorite villagers are. <gasps> My shovel! I gotta make a new shovel. I think I hear one. Mm. A shovel? You hear a shovel? No, a balloon. <laughs> All right, let me grab. Do you have the iron still, my love? No, I put it down in front of your. Uh, Thank you. Do you have any um, hardwood by chance? Oh, I uh, have hardwood. Gotta make a shovel. Kashima, Cranston, yeah, little raccoon. I love Cranston. He has been like one of the best things that has happened to my island. He just always is talking about how the bugs inside of his house whisper DIY instructions to him. It's very cute. I know, that was a heroic shovel. It's been digging up so many of our flowers tonight. Oh, Wools, you have Cranston? Oh, hey, Hypnotic Unicorn, welcome, welcome to the adventures. And then let's see, um, what does the, uh, what do the amiibo cards do for non-villager characters, such as Kicks or Didsby? Well, sometimes they'll give you a poster that you can get, uh, but they won't summon them to the island, and some you of them, they don't recognize. You could summon them in uh, Harvey's Island. Yeah, you can summon them in Harvey's Island with the amiibo cards. If you guys need to know... I'm letting my Animal Crossing geekiness come out tonight. Uh, this is my amiibo card binder. Don't show them all the ones that were missing. One day I will fill it up. One day. So if you need to know what a villager can do. Although you're a bit, you say you're a huge fan, but you never played the uh, the board game i have i have the board game i didn't say you didn't have it i said you didn't play it i didn't have a chance i was busy for the last seven years hey now <laughs> yeah i am um... <laughs> i like animal crossing <laughs> uh oh hey continue yeah, Cranston's perma villager here. I, I will never remove Cranston. I love him. Hey, gentleman new points out. I've done a lot with this last seven years, sir. That's true. That's true. I met you. Uh, well, there's there is we say board game, but what's it called? Where did I put it? It's um, uh, amiibo it. festival. The oh, amiibo, amiibo festival. festival. Yeah. I have never played it. Maybe we'll play it one night. All right. Pop out the old Wii U for yeah, fun. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't think it's very good. I've heard it's not very good, which is, I think, why I haven't played it. Oh, yeah, Ashy, I did see the bug. I'm trying to stay focused on putting the flowers on Event Island at the moment. So I went ahead and I grabbed these precious precious cosmos because i do not have very many cosmos and we need these cosmos flowers in order to go ahead and make a very important flower wagon i'm gonna have to bother my patrons sometime soon and figure out whose island i can visit to buy uh lily seeds pansy seeds and cosmos and mum seeds because i don't have any of those flowers that i can purchase as seeds and i need a lot of them but I want to go ahead and plant the cosmos somewhere that's a little easier to propagate them because cosmos turn into the garden wagon, which is freaking beautiful. Darling, have you seen the garden wagon? I was the one who showed it to you. 
You are the one who showed it to me. That's right. I saw it and I was like, hey, I know somebody who might like this. Darling, could you do me a favor and let me know what colors of Cosmos plants make hybrid colors so I know what colors to put against each other? Sure, hold one moment, please. Thank you. Yeah, the mums are beautiful. What? Mike, you have pansies and turnips are selling for over 605? My jaw's on the ground. That's amazing. Chips became a billionaire this week because he sold turnips and like earned two two billion two million which, bells. Which flowers was it? Uh, tulips. The cosmos. Cosmos, cosmos. Thank you. Oh, what do the mums look like, Swan Feather? I'll bring some mums down so that we can propagate some mums on this island too. I'll try to keep yellow this... and yeah. Yellow and red is orange. Okay. Red and white is pink. Okay. And red and red is black. Okay. As we all know. Okay, so yellow and white, or excuse me, I probably want to get pink then. That's red and white. And then, what was there a blue one? Uh, no, ma'am. Was there a purple one? Sure was not. Hey, zebra girl. So there was black for the cosmos. Pink. Pink. Cosmos come hybrids are black, pink, and orange. Black, pink, and orange. Okay. And then I think I'm going to try for pink first. I'll plant a few of these over here. Across the ecliptic, chrysanthemum tea is some of my favorite tea. It is so good. There we go. We'll try to get some pink ones. And then I'll go get some of the mums and we can move them down here to try to propagate them too. Wait, come on. Come on, lilies. Oh, thank you, Wool. Oh, librarian, hey! And my cat, I do love Maggie. I haven't had a chance to meet Pashima, but she looks like a really adorable goat. And I do have her amiibo card. So I, I think I have her amiibo card. So I could probably have her come and visit. How many of you guys rotate your villagers if you have amiibo cards like we do? I I couldn't imagine. I want to keep all of them. I love all of them. Well, you except You do not for, love Luchador. He's kind of... Well, I mean... He's okay. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. He's really rude, and his house... His house hurts my eyes. Yeah. I just don't like being mean to the villagers. It's hard. I will... So I, I'm here's, not mean here's to another, them. Okay, okay here's, here's, here's another... Here's another behind-the-scenes... Thing you might not know about Siri. No, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna so, tell them? Oh, so, I have a hard time being mean to NPCs in video games. No, not the Mass Effect! <laughs> so, one of my favorite game series is Mass Effect. And the first three, I didn't really care for You will Mass destroy Effect so many illusions! So, so we were playing, and I thought, you know, oh, Siri, she's super super sweet the very first right? mass effect chips was like let's play all three of these mass effect games together they're really great they're good they're they're pretty serious and i just remember being like okay it's serious time to put on my serious face and my serious thinking like she made choices like, in this game so i have to be really serious about this she made like the most evil character i've ever seen in my life like it's like civilian casualties those are acceptable we have the mission to do like this reporter no, 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 get him no. out of my face punch him <laughs> no, 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 like no, no, no. i was you like punch the whoa reporter. okay look what happened with mass effect is that we were playing the first like 10 minutes of the game and i was feeling a little bit of pressure to put aside my flower loving like plant loving ways and raven you're right it's always the quiet one <laughs> and to step quiet. up to the task hey mori bunny of being a galactic hero and sometimes there are costs that must be paid to save the universe and so in the first 10 minutes of mass effect this hopefully won't spoil anything for anyone a ancient like alien secret pops up on a farming planet and it's a huge deal and you cannot let anyone know that this ancient alien secret has happened and you have to hurry and take this knowledge back to the council so that they can figure out what to do about this really big deal ancient alien secret. So I'm like, oh wow, this is really serious. We need to make sure that nobody has seen this. And literally just as I say that to Chips, a farmer walks up and he's like, whoa boy, 
Look at this ancient alien secret. Wow, boss, uh, what do you think about that? <laughs> and I look at Chips and I was like, we've got to shoot him. I was like, no! <laughs> like, that was the first thing I said. And he was horrified. And I'm like, come on! This is important! <laughs> like, we can't just have Jim Bob go tell everybody that there's, like, this ancient alien secret. I was like, no! <laughs> no witnesses! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. And, you, were, you're, you think you know a person. You think you know a person. I was so proud of myself for like putting aside my emotions and taking this seriously. And he was horrified. Yeah. So when she's like, oh, I'll just rotate my villages. It's all coming back. <laughs> she's, she's, she's fine. Look. She's, she's. She's totally fine putting him down. No. But, like I, I didn't, I didn't see it coming either second. And so, like, I always try to be like, well, you know, we'll pay them off to keep them quiet. We'll relocate them. <laughs> oh, no. I'm yes, sorry. yeah, yeah. She's rotating them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, <clears throat> right. Look, we don't offer many permanent establishments. Half of the houses here happen to be Airbnbs. Okay? If I, if I say a mean thing to a villager accidentally, I'll reload the last save. Like, come on. You gotta be nice. It auto-saves. <laughs> Hey, Jinkle! Welcome! Welcome to the adventures! Oh, Miku! Hey! Pop into the Discord and, um, we're gonna be trying to set up something where I can visit villagers, like, visit people's islands, uh, at least once a week. That'd be really fun. Oh, darling, there's a gigantic shadow in the ground! Darling, why are my... I'm sorry, darling. What? What did you do? I was just about to, like... I ask you darling why are my tulips missing and then i really i didn't i picked those tulips earlier yeah yeah you sure did sorry <laughs> no i'm in trouble <laughs> i'm sorry darling um actually hey, i don't geez, have a i don't have a fishing rod i need to make a fishing rod because i think this might be a snapping turtle where 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 uh, it's up by the campsite it's a really big, uh, very large shadow in the water. Do you guys know how to catch a snapping turtle? Because neither Chips or I have caught one yet. I think they're in the rivers like after seven. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. I'm going to go ahead and make it. I got to make a fishing pole. Sea bass? More like a sea floss. It's probably a sea bass. Thankfully, it's in the river. Snapping turtles only show up in the rivers. <gasps> Dizzy, you have one? How lucky. Oh, happy birthday oh, to your mom, manatee. Oh, I think I see it. Oh, Might speaking of mums, I need to go get the mums from the top of the, uh, the island and move them onto our special event island. Oh, Norway would be, don't you think traveling to Norway would be cool, darling? Do you mean literally cool as in like temperature? Is Norway the country you want to ride the trains on? Yes. Chips wants to go to Norway uh, in the winter so that we can ride the trains in the winter. In the winter. In the cold. In the winter. Uh, but I think that that'd be really fun and scenic. Yeah, I found uh, the, the shadow. It was a black bass. It's the most metal of all fish, but not <sighs> a cool snapping turtle. Thank you, darling. Ooh, Lavissa, you've been to Norway? That's so cool. Definitely not Snorway. <laughs> oh, second bite, that's so cool that you live in Norway. Ooh, and across the elliptic has been on that train and the scenery is beautiful. Okay, we have votes. That's on the list. That's definitely on the list to try to go. And these are the mums, uh, so I'm gonna take a whole bunch of the yellow ones. Darling, could you do me another favor and look up the colors for uh, when you crossbreed mums? Yes, hold please. Thank you. But I'm gonna move some of these mums down. I caught a squid. I had an inkling I might. Um, white plus red is pink. White plus okay. white is purple. Okay. And then purple plus purple is green. Green? Oh my gosh, get over here, white mum. We're gonna be trying to breed up green mums. What the heck? That's very exciting. And I need a lot of the yellow mums because the yellow mums actually end up becoming um, the mums cushions. 
which I think are really cool. Backlog, Chips, the husband slash secretary. That's right. That's right. All right, let's come over here and water these guys. Excellent. Making a little bit of progress. It's kind of amazing. I've been trying to work on getting just like the hybrid flowers organized on the Vent Island all evening. And there's just so much to do. We need to have a bamboo festival sometime soon. I'm good again. Because the uh, bamboo is only available for a few times of the year. Oh, well, thanks for the hot tip, Smaggle. Hmm? Smaggle gave us a hot 9 tip. 9 p.m. and 4. Oh, it's 9 p.m. Nice. Darling, do you want to go snapping turtle hunting for a minute? That's what I'm doing. Oh, sweet. So, I'll yes, I you. do. All right. Uh, I will come down and try to do that too. And then I'm going to put a couple white mums right here. There we go. And these beautiful mums should hopefully create some green mums at some point. Darling, you like ran out of the darkness and the shadow was so scary. So they're only in rivers, huh? I'm going to see if there's any clams. Because then we can make some fish bait. My favorite flavor. Manila, my favorite flavor. There we go. Ooh, there's even more. Wow, I wish on a lot of stars. We still have even more stars to gather. Hey, there's clams on the beach. Sweet. I'll gather up a few of them and we'll try catching a snapping turtle tonight because I'm curious. <laughs> my cat, I live in Canada where it's raining. No, it's snowing. No, it's sunny. I mean cloudy. I mean foggy. I give up. Yeah, we lived in Michigan and it often felt like that or like it was just permanently winter. There we go. Good night, yeah, we like We like to say in Michigan they have two seasons, okay. winter and construction. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it is in Michigan. It's winter or it's construction. Oh, Thea! Oh, that's so pretty! I didn't know they made golden Oreos. Also, Kitty! Wow, guys, Kitty's walking along the beach. What you doing, Kitty? It does seem like I'm seeing a lot of you lately, doesn't it, Morale? Looks like we have some company on from another island today. I do hope wild berries to their liking. What do you think? I like it a lot. Yes. Aww. Although you do have a lot more weeds than I would have in Hang my on. island. We have a balanced ecosystem here. Chips doesn't let any weeds pop up on home island. Like mm -hmm. one of his daily tasks is he will just run around in circles, gathering up all of the weeds. And I'm like, but it's pretty. And he's like, uh -huh. nope. We run a tight ship here. Arizona has two seasons, hot and less hot. That sounds true. All right. Also, what you doing over here? Little Sheldon friend? Looks like Wildbear has some company today. Think they're into canoeing? Are you into canoeing, darling? I love canoeing. Aw, and Sheldon says, rest assured, Ziri, I will show your company some Sheldon-style hospitality. First, they'll do some squats, then some push-ups, then some ab hmm. work. They're going to be so sore. How's that, that sounds sound? like that sounds like Ring Fit Adventure. It does sound like Ring Fit Adventure. Oh, Gavin, that's so cool. You made a waterfall with a, a big flower breeding area. I'm trying to get a flower breeding area up and going. It's kind of tricky to find like the right balance because I love the wild look, but at the same time, I like getting stuff done. Oh, manatees, you know what? Your name does imply that you would be in Florida. My mom's, like, favorite place in the world. Yeah, you're being nice to me today. You're right. <laughs> well, let's see what Julian has to say, because Julian is uh, hanging out right behind me. So I'm going to see if he says anything about you, darling. I just buried some clay. Hmm, that's an interesting choice. Julian? Hang on, don't you have someone coming to visit? Why don't we go show your guests what Wildberry is all about? Okay. I don't think that Julian knows it's you, but that was so funny when you were running in circles. And he was like, ugh. I know, he's like, what is wrong with your guest? 
Julian's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll see how Ursula feels in just a second, my cat. That's a good idea. I am going to craft up some fish bait real quick, though. And we can wrap up the night with trying to grab some fish or some snapping turtles. With them little dangly noodle worm tongue. Do we know why they're the only critter that gets to exist outside of their cage? Uh, the flat turtle, like, I think the soft shell turtle does too. And technically all the animals on the island, like the creature, the That's characters. True. But I don't oh, know why they exist outside of cage. Oh, Nelly, you have a coworker named Julian? Cool. Oh, Rosie, hey, Miss Rose, how you doing? All right, let's craft up some fish bait. Hopefully it will be snapper turtle bait. Yeah, you're not gonna catch a snapping turtle with fish bait. Oh, hey, Gabriel, welcome, welcome to the adventures. N64, there's another good like console for games. Mm -hmm, Harvest mm -hmm. Moon 64 was my very first true love of video games, and Thousand Arms was actually my first like love of RPGs. And I don't know anybody who's ever heard of Thousand Arms. I have. You have? Yeah. What? Did you play it? Uh, no. I've heard it's got a good soundtrack, and so I've heard so it. So you've on, like, heard Thousand Arms? I, I've literally heard it. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Also, did KK give me that music track? Uh, thanks, but not now. Okay, maybe not. That's all right. I did not get a KK record. If not, you can try your trick again. Huh. I'll go ahead and try that, because I didn't get a KK record. Darling, do you want to try again? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Or wait, should we do that as our, as our sign-off? We should do that as the last thing we do. Yeah, we should do that as the last thing we do. That's a good idea. Let's look for the turtles first. See, I'm all akimbo and scrambled around the place because there's just always so much to do. I think I got, let me, oh, what's this? Darling, did you drop a floor sign? Uh, I don't think so. Huh. Sheldon acting up again? No, Sheldon is not acting up again. All right, let me go ahead and see. We did really good progress on this island, actually, you guys. I'm really proud about how much we have added to Special Event Island. I would move this, but I can't when Chips is visiting, uh, which is fine. We've made a really good garden to start covering some of the rare plants and trying to get them to propagate. And I think the only thing that's missing is I need to go get some of our black tulips so we can try to get more purple tulips. I'll put the purple tulip over here because there's only one of you. Beautiful purple tulips. Hmm. And I'm gonna put a couple cosmos down. All right, let me grab the black tulips and then I'm gonna go snapping turtle hunting with you, darling. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put these just right over here to try to encourage these guys to propagate a little faster. Come on, Cosmos. I need, oh, and we'll pick, I have to pick the flowers actually today. So they'll hopefully grow back in time to have more flower wagons. Poor things. All right. I don't think the plants will create new plants if you pick them, but I need the red Cosmos. All right. Up we go. Black tulips over at my survival area. Oh, Raven Silversea, thank you. It is so pretty with all the flowers. Eventually, they will have some rhyme and reason and be mildly organized. Let me come up here. I'll collect some of these black tulips so that we can try to get some purple ones. Oh, I'm glad you guys like the, the flowers. I am shocked we have ended up with this many hybrid plants so early, to be honest. There we go. Are you having any luck with the snapper turtle? I'm looking. I'm, get, I'm getting a lot of loach. A lot of loach. Are they staring at you with reproach? They are looking, they're staring at me with reproach. With reproach. Ooh, is this a black tulip or is this going to be a, like, a purple tulip? Let's find out. 
The more flowers, the better, right? I am totally a flower maniac too. I love them. All right, that's actually another black tulip. I am so impressed. This little patch of black tulips has produced a purple tulip and another black tulip really quickly. Darling, hey! I'll be down in just a second. We can do our KK song after. Oh, I was just, well, I was looking around. We're all good. Okay, good. Let's see. I'm going to put this over here. There we go. I will say having this many flowers feels like a huge, uh, a huge burden in a way. Like a good burden, but like, oh, I've got to take care of the whole garden tonight. And Miss right, Rose, hey! Miss Magal, I'll look. We've mostly been like tending to gardens and Chips and I have, have been sharing behind the scenes stories, which I'm finding is a theme for him. He likes to share the behind the scenes stories that make me squirm and like, ah! No. Yeah. All right, let's jump and jump. All right, and then finally, I'm gonna put the black tulips. Hmm, I need space so these guys can potentially propagate. Black tulips, should I put them along this side? Yeah, we'll go ahead and put them here. Hopefully they won't. Well, actually, I don't want to mix them right next to the pink tulips because they might try to propagate with the pink tulips. That's no go. I want purple tulips. All right. I'm going to put them over here and move these mums. That'll do. This is... Oh, darling, this might be a snapper turtle. Oh, I just got a bass. I see a big, I see a big shadow. Let me grab my... Fishing Where are you? One second. Wait, how do I favorite this? There we go. Did you know you can bury your fishing rod in the, the ground, darling? I had no idea. Did you just do No, I almost did. Oh, Whirlwind Lou, I'm so glad you're having a good time. It is getting very close to my bedtime, so hopefully we'll be able to find a snapping turtle. Yeah, and my cat. Oh, no, it's a black bass, unfortunately. The most metal of all fish. I know the checkered board, but I really have actually been having a lot better luck with breeding all of my hybrids when they're in a row. When they're three in a line, I almost always end up with a hybrid within the week. And when they're in the checkerboard, it takes a lot longer. So I'm actually of a theory now that having them in a line is more efficient. I could be totally wrong, but I'm noticing that I get a lot further than doing the checkerboard pattern. Oh, manatee! You actually live in Michigan, but every year your family goes to Florida. Your favorite animal is the manatee. Oh, that's so cool! Like, Michigan and Florida are definitely two different climate worlds, for sure. We should go to Florida, darling. We haven't been there together yet. That's true. They'll go on the list, right next to Norway, we, Iceland, Japan. Yeah. That one's a lot easier to get to. Hey, moon sharks, welcome, welcome to the adventures. All right, yellow moms. We got here vibing. We are vibing. There we go. There, all right, I have a lot of hope about this. Putting the two different species of plants next to each other will probably work out really well. Okay, that's good. All right. And let's try putting, so I'm gonna grab the fishing pole and then we're gonna try fishing right here, guys. And we're gonna see if we can fish from our little island. All right, scatter food. That is tiny fish. We'll go ahead and catch it. Oh, too close, too close. I scared it away. Probably not a good idea to try to fish like this. That's fine. All right, we'll try again. <gasps> Darling! Huge, Did you just... huge shadow. Wait, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait, you should probably just do it so that I don't scare it off. It was just a black bass. However, the shadow the size was correct. 
The most metal of all the fish. The most metal of all fish. Darling, it's a huge shadow! I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't scare it. Don't jump on the island. It'll scare it. <laughs> the most metal of all fish. Mm. <laughs> all right, guys. All right. We could do this. I need you all to think about... Oh, darling, do you want this one? I got it. <laughs> I need you all to think about worm tongues. I'm sure that'll summon up a snapping turtle. Oh, How many of you guys know, um, know about the worm tongue that the snapping turtle has, by the way? I think they're, yeah, swan feather. So snapping turtles, particularly alligator snapping turtles have tongues that are shaped to be a lure that look like a worm. And one of the ways that they hunt is that they'll be under the water that's a really cute loach looking at you with reproach. I know. They'll be in the water and they will open up their very large, very powerful jaw and stick their tongue out and wiggle it around in the water like a worm. And the fish will come up and think, hey, free meal. And then they, they become the free meal. That is how it works. Darling, huge shadow. Surely come, this come. time, third time's the charm, right guys? Oh, people don't know about the worm tongues. I've got to get a good picture of the worm tongue to share. <gasps> I didn't expect it to do an instant. Okay, that's not it. But I think we just had, I think we were just, we were just trolled by a snapping turtle. All right, alas, alas, alas. All right, you ready? We're gonna we're gonna end this on a high note, though, literally, because we're gonna have KK sing to us. Hey. Hey. Let me check really quickly what we need to do to get this secret song. Hey, could I get an iron nugget real quick? Yeah. Do you like our little hybrid garden? I like it. I like it. It'd be a shame if somebody took these. Oops. Darling. Um It's a good hybrid garden. I can't decorate it quite as much as I want to because we need to leave space for the flowers to be able to have like new flowers pop off. But mm -hmm. this will be a good way to celebrate Earth Day, I think. Having a beautiful little hybrid garden. I'll make I'll make a little bit more room for it too. Like a new new? Gnu? Yeah, can you can you can you? Secret songs. Okay. So he will ask if you want an encore, to which you respond, I'd love that. And you respond by saying, give me that one song. Okay. Okay, darling. So do you want to have KK Cruisin', Farewell, Drivin', or Animal City? Animal City. Okay, we'll do Animal City. And we'll try that out. I know, sadly, no sapping turtle, but you know what that means, guys? It means that we'll be able to have a sapping turtle to look forward to in the future. Chips and I can gather up some some worm uh, bait, the clam bait, pardon me, and try again. All right, I'm at KK whenever you my favorite you're ready, flavor. Darling. Okay, hang on, let me craft my uh, thing. I'm gonna put your stuff down. Yeah, it says KK Cruisin'. I'm not sure if that's true. There's Manatee's hashtag chipped cream. That's right. That's right. Aw, thank you, Miku. It'll be fun to try to catch our own snapping turtle. That'll be a fun goal for a night. Oh, hey, you're crafting something, my love. Yeah, my uh, fishing rod broke. And now it is fixed. Yay! All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. I think we made progress. Did we make progress? Oh yeah. There's so much to do. We had a good we had a good time. You're right. That's that's the most important thing. Alright, let's try this again. I'd love an encore. Cool, cool. Any request? Okay. Oh! Absent Nectar! Welcome! <laughs> welcome to the nest! I'm so excited you're here just in time to listen to the Gimme That Rowan song. 
All right, hit me with that deep cut. What's it called? All right, Animal City? That's the one you want, darling? Oh, yeah. All right, let's have let's have some of the Animal City jam to wrap up the night. Welcome, Absence Nectar. Thank you. There we go. So now we enter the name of the song, and we're going to go ahead. Hey, look who's plugged into the code machine. How'd you know my secret song? Nice! Oh, I hit the wrong button! I went to the home screen. Uh, can you guys tell that like 10 p.m. is usually series bedtime? That's when the silliness comes out. All right, cats and kittens, take a seat and focus your audio for Animal City. All right, guys. Let's settle on in and we'll wind down with another perfect encore. Right on. There we go. <laughs> Here we are. Bulls, that's hilarious. All right, what's this one sound like? Oh, this one slaps. This one slaps. Nice. Well, I hope that this is a great way for all of you to end your week. I hope whatever the week has been like for you, everything will just have a chance to kind of release. Because we're starting a new week next week. Or tomorrow. And next week. Yeah. It's true. I can't wait for my villagers to start singing this one. I'll put it on all of the outside players. My favorite part is when he goes, wee, me, me, wee. <laughs> yeah, Gnu. There is a whole new day to enjoy. I didn't know that KK Bubblegum has lyrics, my cat. I'm gonna think, I'm gonna look those up. Thank you so much for joining us. Good night, everyone. Sleep well. Thank you, thank you to all the cats and odd dogs at home. All right. So we'll see you guys later. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next week. Night, guys. <laughs>